World history is full of wars. Every century is a chaotic period of great wars. But there is something different about this century. Humans are no longer the main factor in wars. It is autonomous technologies produced by humans. One of them is Bayraktar Akinsi. Hello Militaria viewers. Today we will share with you a technology that has a very important place in the history of the world. Since unmanned aerial vehicles first appeared, we are facing their most advanced period. One of these unmanned aerial vehicles is undoubtedly the Bayraktar Akinsi model unmanned aerial vehicles. In this video, we will discuss the Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicles of Bayraktar which participated in the search and rescue efforts for Iranian President Raisi, whose helicopter crashed recently and played a role in the Russian-Ukrainian war. A small reminder before we move on to our video. As the military team, we try to prepare noteworthy reports for you. You can support us by liking our videos and subscribing to our channel. Also, share your ideas about our content with us in the comments. Let's start, if you are ready. Bayraktar A Kinsey model unmanned aerial vehicles have been on the agenda for two years. During the Russian-Ukrainian war, TB2s, a sub-model of the Bayraktar Akinsi, were actively used. These drones are truly state-of-the-art. Many international authorities have recognized this. TB2 drones which are a lower model of Bayraktar Akinsi, were actively used throughout the war and led to significant successes against Russia. Akinsi also took part in the recent helicopter crash in Iranian territory and managed to detect the wreckage of President Raisi's helicopter. So, what are the features of this technological marvel? Bayraktar Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicle is known to be developed by Turkey with domestic facilities. It made its first flight in 2019 at a military facility belonging to the Turkish Armed Forces in Turkey. During this flight, the Bayraktar Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicle made a successful landing after a 16-minute flight. In 2021, Bayraktar Akinsi conducted a firing test for the first time. In this firing test, Akinsi used the MAM-T, MAM-L and MAM-C missiles developed by Turkish engineers. It was reported that the targets were successfully hit during these firing tests. During the two-day test flight in 2021, Bayraktar Akinsi reached an altitude of 38,039 feet and covered a total distance of 7,507 kilometers during the 25-hour test flight. These tests have increased confidence in Bayraktar Akinsi. According to recent reports, Bayraktar Akinsi is available in A, B and C variants. Bayraktar Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicles are not only used for war or military purposes. As is known in 2023, Turkey and Syria were shaken by a major earthquake. In this earthquake, Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicles were actively used in search and rescue operations. Bayraktar Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicles, which saved many lives, also recently took part in the helicopter crash in which Iranian President Raisi and eight people lost their lives. The wreckage, which Iranian search and rescue teams could not reach for 11 hours, was found within two hours with the successful operation of Akinsi. So what are the features of such an advanced unmanned aerial vehicle? The wingspan of Bayraktar Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicles is approximately 20 meters. Its length is approximately 13 meters. Akinsi's maximum takeoff weight is estimated to be 5,500 kilograms. The fact that it has such a carrying capacity reveals Akinsi's ability to carry out operations with more ammunition. It is known that Akinsi unmanned aerial vehicles 
can reach a speed of 360 kilometers per hour. In addition, the maximum altitude it can reach is 40,000 feet. That is approximately 13,000 kilometers. This is almost half of the absolute altitude record set in 1976 at 25,929 meters. Director Akinshi unmanned aerial vehicles can actively fly for 24 hours. Its range is 7,500 kilometers. Bayraktar Akinchi unmanned aerial vehicles have advanced reconnaissance and surveillance capabilities. This makes Akinchi remarkable. In addition, the various radars, sensors, and cameras on board increase Akinchi's mission capabilities considerably. Bayraktar Akinchi unmanned aerial vehicles can also be equipped with air to air missiles and various munitions that can hit ground targets. Laser-guided bombs, mini-missiles, and larger guided missiles produced by the Turkish defense industry are among the weapons that Akinci can carry. In addition, Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles include an artificial intelligence supported control system, autonomous flight capabilities, and advanced algorithms for complex missions. Bayraktar, Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles seem to be a golden age for the Turkish defense industry. Especially in a period when the importance of autonomous technologies is increasing, Turkey's Bayraktar Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles clearly show that there may be quite remarkable developments in the region. In our previous videos, we talked about the Khan fighter jet which is also produced by the Turkish defense industry. As far as is known, Bayraktar Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles are capable of participating in operational activities with Khan. Bayraktar Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles continue to be developed. Akinci, which serves within the Turkish armed forces, is of great importance for the country. What do you think? Do you think Bayraktar Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles are as competent as claimed? What do you think about Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles taking part in finding the wreckage of the Iranian president's helicopter? Do you think Akinci unmanned aerial vehicles should be used by your army? Let us know in the comments. We read and care about your comments.